a schoolmaster, okay, unto Yeshaya, the Lord God, the Word of the Most High God, dwelling amongst us in flesh. And when we have divergences like this, it confuses um, you know, the, the minds of, of the children that are just babes only needing milk. And that's one of the problems with what is going on now. We are no longer, uh, the, the brethren are not preaching the simple gospel of Yeshua Christ, which is the power of God unto salvation. Okay, this is why it is written in the book of um, uh, Timothy. It's First Timothy, um, uh, chapter uh, one through. Let's let's read um, one through. Uh, let's just read. Okay, First Timothy. We're going to start in chapter one. Um, it says that Paul, an apostle of Yeshua Jesus Christ, by the commandment of God, our Savior and Lord, Yeshua Christ, which is our hope, unto Timothy, my own son in the faith, grace, mercy, and peace from God, our Father, and Yeshua Jesus Christ, our Lord, as I besought thee to abide still at Ephesus when I went into Macedonia that thou might charge some that they teach no other doctrine neither give heed to fables and endless genealogies which minister questions rather than godly edifying which is in faith so do now the end of the commandment is love out of a pure heart and of a good conscience and of faith unfeigned. So we we don't want to bring all of these um, fables, okay, and endless genealogies that cannot be um confirmed by the witness of two or three all right now no matter what has happened in the scriptures okay no matter what they've added no matter what they've tried to take away no matter uh, how they have rearranged the books nothing that man has done could change the message okay of the Lord because the scripture clearly lets us understand that if Satan had understood what the Most High God Yeshua and Holy Spirit the mighty Elohim planned before the foundations of the world, he would not have crucified the Lord Yeshaya Hamashiach, okay, who became our eternal atonement unto salvation that we might have a place with the Lord God again that we would be able through Yeshua, Jesus Christ, to come before the Most High God and have a voice that he might hear us. In the name of Yeshua, Jesus Christ, he will hearken unto our prayers and our supplication because of the blood of Yeshua Jesus Christ that covers us, which is the same blood that the Lord God informed us in the book of Exodus that we must put on our doorposts and the lentils 
with hyssop that the angel of death might pass over us. This is the same Yeshaya that is preached now, that was preached then. And that is the gospel of salvation, that the Lord loved us so much that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him will not perish, but will have everlasting life. And that is the naked truth. And that is the Yeshaya Jesus Christ that we preach in this last day because we are in the last days of time and there are so many doctrines that are being preached in this day that so many of the hearts and the minds of the brethren have been confused. Why? Because the gospel, which is the power of the Most High God to save us in this day, is not being preached. That's why Paul said, if any man comes preaching another Jesus, let him be a curse. And then he says again, whether it be an angel or whatever power or whatever man, if he comes preaching another Jesus, then let him be a curse. We must understand that the Lord God brought forth the only begotten that because of one Adam all of humanity became sinners through the sin of this one man but through the power of one Yeshaya Jesus Christ, all men can be saved through Yeshaya, Jesus Christ, who became a curse that we might be saved. Through him, we might be righteous. Through him, we might have a chance, an opportunity to be reconciled unto the Most High who put us away, that he will draw us nigh back unto him, to the Master who humbled himself unto death that we might have life through him. This is so serious because there is no other way to the Father except through the Son. This is the same Pete, Paul, the same Paul that helps us to understand in the book of Corinthians. Um, uh, I believe it's in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 11 through 21. He, he helps us to understand that knowing, therefore the terror of the Lord We persuade men, okay, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. 
So I beseech thee this day, sisters and brothers watching, that we examine the scriptures weighing the spirits by that great and mighty and powerful and truthful, truth revealing Holy Spirit that was sent unto us after the Master died on the cross and now sits at the right hand of the Father in the heavenlies. He sent us the Comforter that we might understand these things which he preached when he walked amongst us. Now, we're going to go into the account of the birth of our Lord Yeshaya HaMashiach. Okay? And examine the scriptures through a biblical perspective today. Now, we're going to start in the book of Luke, chapter 1 through 26 through 56 in the King James Version of the Holy Bible. It states, And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Yeshia, Jesus. He shall be great and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father, David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, the Holy Spirit shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. And Mary arose in those days and went into the hill country with haste into the city of Judea and entered into the house of Zacharias and saluted Elizabeth. 